Hi everyone, Adam here, and this is what I've watched for January 2023. Just a quick rundown of some of the movies I've watched this month. On the 12th, uh, I watched Megan, which most people have already seen and made their opinions. Look, I liked it, but I thought maybe it was a bit overhyped. I thought the performances were good, and a kind of, um, and some decent special effects. A brilliant, a brilliant toy company roboticist. I think that's how you say it, uses artificial intelligence to develop Megan, a lifelike doll program to emotionally bond with a newly orphaned niece. But when the doll's programming works too well, she becomes overprotective of a new friend with terrifying results. So yeah, look, I didn't think it was too bad. I did like the special effects. They're pretty decent on Megan. Yeah, no, some people complained about the lack of gore. That didn't bother me. Uh, Look, I was entertained by it, though, I will say that. Okay, on the 14th, I got around to watching Hellraiser 2022. I wouldn't really call it a remake. A reimagining, I guess, is probably the better term, because uh, the plot's fairly different. Of course, there's some similarities between the original Hellraiser and this Hellraiser. The synopsis is a young woman struggling with addiction comes into possession of an ancient puzzle box Unaware that the purpose is to summon the Cenobites, a group of sadistic supernatural beings from another dimension. Uh, look, I just found this okay. Um, I thought I was going to like it more than I did, because I do like the original, and two as well. Uh, I did watch a lot of the direct to uh, video how races lately. I haven't finished that, I just can't get to the next one yet. I will watch the other ones. Uh, look, it's okay, not great, um, I don't know, but, of course, I mean, you're always going to compare something, something like this to the original, but at least they didn't do a carbon copy, I'll give them that, and I thought, uh, Jamie Clayton, uh, who's Pinhead, but is referred to as the priest in the credits, did a pretty, um, pretty decent job. I think the problem is um, the lead character is not very likeable. That's part of the problem. I, I think she does what she can. The actress who played uh, Riley Odessa Azion, I think it is. Um, look, she was okay in the role, but I just didn't like her character. I mean, I'm not sure if we're supposed to. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, on the 21st, I watched Operation Fortune. Uh, this is a Guy Ritchie film starring Jason Statham. Uh, kind of Guy Ritchie, kind of doing a spy action thriller type movie. Basically, the synopsis is Five Eyes, the International Intelligence Agency, recruits MI6 agent Orson Fortune to prevent the sale of a deadly new weapon technology that threatens to disrupt the world order. Uh, look, usually with a movie with Jason Statham in it, you kind of know what to expect. But I thought the um, supporting cast did pretty well as well. Um, Aubrey Plaza, she had some pretty good scenes. She was pretty funny. Uh, Hugh Grant uh, did well. Uh, but the standout was uh, Josh Hartnett, who's an actor who finds himself in kind of a situation where it's a bit over his head. Yeah, so it is funny too, and some pretty decent action scenes. It's well directed. Uh, it's kind of fun. On the 22nd of January, I watched a movie called Play Dead. Uh, and this is a synopsis. Uh, criminology student Chloe fakes her own death to break into a morgue in order to retrieve a piece of evidence that ties her younger brother to crime gone wrong. Once inside, she discovers that a sadistic coroner is using the corpses for his sick and twisted business. And when he realises that Chloe still has a pulse, a terrifying game of cat and mouse ensues. Uh, I was, I thought this was going to be better. I mean, most of it takes place in one location, so, I mean, you can tell it's a low-budget film, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, look... 
Uh, Bailey Madison, who played uh, Chloe, the main actress, or the lead, did okay, but Jerry O'Connell uh, went full villain mode. He was doing a pretty good job, but uh, it kind of drags a little bit. There's an intriguing premise there. Uh, this is directed by Patrick uh, Lucia, I think it's pronounced, uh, who directed the rather fun High Bloody Valentine 3D. Now, this one's so serious and it's not a fun watch. And if you haven't seen the movie, you probably know what the side business this coroner is doing. Uh, yeah, I was just kind of, kind of hoping for something uh, better. Well, I mean, some of the scenes were well shot, though. And on the 28th of January, I saw Star Wars. And no, before you think and wait. I usually only do movies I haven't seen. Yes, I've seen this a few times, but this one is a bit different that I went to see. Uh, well, it's pretty much called Star Wars in Concert. It was basically watching the movie as the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra plays. And it was a fun way to watch it. Um, listening to the music play live as the movie's going, it's, it's kind of fun. It was a different way to see it. I don't really have to tell anyone about the plot, but it was a packed house too. All right, let us know if you've watched any of these movies and what you thought of them. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Adam, and I'll see you again soon.